Tim and a warm welcome to Janessa. How are you doing today? Yeah, really good actually, although the weather's a bit dull, but you know, I always say it's the same for everyone, so I'm actually looking forward to driving the car in the rain. Had a little go in it yesterday, obviously, in the dry, um, the two free practice sessions, and sort of pretty quickly sort of got a feel for the car and made some little setup changes, and the car's very responsive to the changes as well. So, in fact, I got the car pretty much where I wanted it quite quickly and uh, thoroughly enjoyed driving it as well. All right, so it was a, a positive uh, testing session for you then? Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously one of the rules is that the tyres you use on the practice day you have to carry forward into the race day. So I was sort of a little bit um, cautious about not doing too many laps, but fortunately I was able to get on the pace pretty quickly and uh, find a setup I liked. And I mean, the car is a proper racing car. It, you know, it, it stops, it changes direction, it turns really well, um, and I really enjoy driving it. Have you got any predictions over where you're going to qualify in the qualifying round later today? Ah, it's always a oh, make predictions, you know, you can, you can be uh, right or wrong. I don't, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'd like to be top four. Um, you know, the racer in me would like to do a little bit better than that. Um, but, you know, we'll have to see. But, you know, I'm approaching it like I would any race, that I want to be the quickest and try and win the race and see where we go from there. But I'm very mindful that the guys at the front of the championship are very, very quick drivers and very accomplished. And, have, you know, I've watched the races so far this year and uh, it's not going to be easy to get amongst them. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on the, the drivers in the Super um, really good, you know, I mean, obviously, um, uh, Morgan, Sharp, Hodgett, Carl Breeze, you know, they're top drivers in any category, and, you know, they've made a, a home for themselves in Ginettas, and, and got a real feel for the car, and, and they're very quick drivers, you know, I think that some of them could easily go on and make uh, professional careers in motorsport, so it's been a great grounding for them, and uh, certainly they're, uh, they're going to have to prove themselves now against the old boy, aren't they? <laughs> Welcome uh, into the Super Cup so far. Yeah, they have, and, and in fairness, I mean, Carl Breeze, I've known for a long time, my teammate here at TCR, and the team TCR Lee Brooks and the boys, you know, they've been really welcoming and uh, thoroughly enjoy w working with them so far this weekend. It's been uh, a breath of fresh air, shall I say. Tim qualified in third, a hugely impressive achievement and only his second day in the car. We managed to catch Tim in the assembly area just before his first race. Um, I mean, originally I was fourth, but Tom Sharp got put back uh, down the grid because he changed his tyres in the session, which I'm told is a no-no. Um, so yeah, very happy with third because uh, I'm in front of um, Carl Breeze and Stefan Hodgett, who have both won races. So I don't think that's a bad start to my Ginetta um, race career. So your expectations for the race, are you going to be on that podium, Tim? Uh, well, the reality is that, that, I mean, Nathan Freak and Morgan have set good lap times. Um, we'll see how quick they are over the race. I've tried to set the car up so it'll be kind to its tyres over the race, but of course I don't have any experience. I've never done a race distance before, so I've no, no idea what to expect. But So it's important to finish this first of three races on the weekend, just to feel how the car changes over the race distance. But yeah, a podium would be fantastic. Okay, well good luck in your first race, Tim. Thanks very much. Tim was full of praise for his competitors and a delay before round 12 of the Ginetta Super Cup gave us the perfect opportunity to ask those lining up against him what they made of his arrival. Yeah, it's good for the team. Obviously, he's a double Porsche champion, ex-touring car champion, so his pedigree is really good and um, it's good to have another driver in the team that can give feedback on setting the car up. So, yeah, a very welcome addition to the team. It's good to have a big name like Tim come into the series and um, you know that you're racing against the best with, with him on board. Tim's got you know a fantastic reputation, has been a very good driver. Uh, he's obviously done British touring cars, he's a touring car champion. He's been very, very quick in the Porsche. So uh, racing against someone against him is, you know, it's it's really good for me. But again, he's quick, so we'll try and compete. Uh, I think it's quite a big um, statement that he's made to switch switch from Porsche to Ginetta, and um, I think that other drivers will take a lot of notice of that and hopefully follow. But I mean, hopefully not quick drivers. So we don't want quick ones coming in, just the slower ones. Um, obviously, don't want to make my job too hard, really. It can only be good for Ginetta Championship uh, to get a driver of Tim's calibre in, into this series is, is positive for everyone. Tim had an action-packed weekend with a first ever Ginetta Super Cup win in round 13, slotted between two no finishes in rounds 12 and 14. Here's Tim's reaction to an eventful weekend. 
well, you know, it's all part of the learning experience, isn't it? I mean, the first race, I was thoroughly enjoying the first race. Made a little mistake myself and clipped the tyres, which uh, damaged the front left-hand side, so I had to retire. Uh, but that was just a little bit of lack of experience with the car. Um, the good thing was the car was quick and I was quick. Um, Obviously it necessitated me starting at the very back for the second race, but with the conditions a bit changeable, I had a good chance and just had a fantastic race. You know, races where you start at the back and you have to drive it, you're really on your wits ends of feeling the car and the grip and everything else is the sort of races I love. And obviously to come from last to first and win the race just made the weekend for me. Um, you know, almost after that I was, uh, I was happy, but I had a really good plan for the last race. I had saved my tyres, I'd set the car up to be kind to its tyres over the weekend and it was all coming to, to plan and uh, got up to third place and uh, with the reverse grid had really good tyres under me and unfortunately got turned around at the hairpin I'm not sure who by but of course that just put me right to the back with only a couple of laps to go so that was unfortunately game over but certainly in terms of enjoying the weekend it's been fantastic uh, getting an appreciation for what Ginettas and the GT Super Cup G55s are like I've really got a good feeling for the car um, and I've loved working with it it's very responsible for the uh, responsive to the changes you make I'd love to spend more time in it now to sort of try and make it even better um, but the team TCR have been fantastic uh, the whole ambiance in the the paddock has been friendly but sporting and good-natured and you know overall I've had a great weekend so thanks very much to Ginetta it's almost like my birthday it's, a be you know, it's my father it's Father's Day but I I'm certainly not Lawrence's father but uh, it's been a great Father's Day uh, weekend. With Tim being at the fore of a hugely exciting weekend of racing Lawrence Tomlinson gave us his view on Tim's Ginetta debut. I mean Tim's 50 now uh, or 50-ish and he's been racing since he was about 20 so he's got 30 years experience and for us at Ginetta to have Tim Harvey come to us and say that is a fantastic race car it's very responsive to all the changes I think I can make it go quicker and just get out of it and be so excited you know for a guy who's been racing 30 years you don't often see them so thrilled and, and just buzzing when they get out of a car and, and Tim really worked hard for that win Finally, we couldn't leave without asking Tim if we'll see him back in a Ginetta next year. Well, hopefully, you know, we'll see. Keep, keep your fingers crossed. We'll, we'll hopefully sooner than that, but we'll, we'll, we'll work on something and uh, it, you'll certainly see me in a Ginetta again.